Let's try that again. What's going on? One more time. What's going on? <laughs> Don't really know what I'm going to be doing today, but it's going to be musical, maybe. So I thought I would try something today that could ultimately result in my embarrassment or your entertainment or both. Ultimately, we will all learn something together. So frequenters of the channel know that I have a little person living at my house who uh, doesn't pay rent. Anyway, this guy, I am going to uh, put him to work and I'm going to use some of his audio recordings to make music. Let's see what we come out with. I want to find elements that I can use melodically or rhythmically. So afraid that I was going to botch the word rhythmically. Rhythmically or melodic. Let's try this again. My game plan is to find sounds that I can use rhythmically or melodically or sounds that just sound interesting to me and I'll use those to make the music that you're getting ready to hear. Hopefully it sounds great. No, no, no. It's going to sound great. You're going to love it. Here's what I found in melodic sounds. Here are some sounds that would be good effects. A lot of the effects seem to be all the times he cries. On a day-to-day -day basis, he gives me a lot of effects material to pull from. Just saying. Okay, let's see what we can make. Now that I have a groove, it's time to get melodics. So I forgot to record my process for manipulating audio, but throughout this entire project, I'm using different types of manipulation, whether it be the flex audio features on Logic or detuning, retuning samples. I'm making them sound different to serve the song where I want it to go. Okay, it turns out that this is more of an extensive project than I originally thought. Now this is the first time I've, I've done something like this. Definitely not a completed song, but the concept is there. At least I think so. One thing about this project is where in past times I would see this project as a failure. I learned a lot of things today about logic. I learned a lot of things about audio manipulation. So yeah, I didn't come out with a Grammy winning song or, you know, a top 
Billboard chart song by any means. But I came out of this process a much better producer because I, I, I went through the process. Going through the process, a lot of times it's just about the experience and it's about the growth. I know that I've grown in this process and I know if you're in a process that seems like you're just wasting time if it's going towards what you want to be and what you want to do you're, you're not wasting time you're growing and you're learning side note to everything that's going on here so i just want to tell you that guys thanks so much for watching thanks for sticking with me through this process obviously i did not get to everything that i wanted to within the span of the time i wanted to do this video next week we'll go into sound design we'll go into how to use logic's different audio editing um, modes and flex modes and uh, by the time you're done we're going to be professionals at editing audio and manipulating audio make sure that you like follow subscribe uh, my youtube page facebook page and my instagram page um, i put updates um, tips music production tips um, encouragement and motivation because everybody needs a little bit of motivation every once in a while you guys be good and i'll see you next week